Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 72. Uh, so this episode is basically answering a question that someone sent me uh, a couple of days ago about GPO and installing software. Um, the question was, is it possible or can you show me how to install software with GPO and is it possible to get the results of the successful rate of the installation? So I was like, okay, no problem. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it today. So my environment is real simple. Most likely, you're probably gonna do this more in a large scale, but for the for this video, I'm gonna do it real small and real simple. So I have a Windows 7 virtual machine, and it's hooked up to my domain controller, fully updated, no problems at all. And within the domain controller, you want to open your group policy management. I already went ahead and actually um, created a group poli policy for this already um, because I, I needed to test it out first so I normally create all my GPOs inside the group policy objects folder so I'm gonna show you guys how I did it I went to new uh, basically gave it a name I'm um, just call it deploy GPO press OK and you wanna right click on the GPO go to edit and where all the magic happens is actually in a computer configuration area policies software settings software installation you're gonna right click and you want a new new package um, now when you're locating the software I've only done this with only MSI files MSI, MSI files work perfect when you're dealing with GPO installations um, I've never tried it with EXE so if you guys have tried it before and you're checking this video out uh, please leave comments below and let me know what, how that goes out. But again, with my um, with my knowledge, uh, MSI's would be the best when deploying software with GPO. So I located my MSI. Also, make sure that when you are inserting your package, your MSI file, that you're doing it as a UMC. Do not have a C drive or D drive or whatever drive. Make sure it's a UMC path. UMC path normally starts as backslash backslash the server name and the location of the file so I'm gonna press OK and once you press OK you're gonna get a dialog box of deploy software by default the publish is is grayed out now um, you got publish and then you got the advanced video button okay the advanced by the assign I mean assign is normally um, set by default and the publish option will not automatically install MSI installer file but instead it place an entry in the local add and remove programs utility for manual installation later that's what the publish um, is all about that option but it's grayed out kinda strange why is it uh, the advanced feature will give you the ability to change certain properties uh, such as the package name and certain area, and like certain other things like the location of where you want the package to be deployed. But we're not going to do that with this video. I'm going to keep it short and simple and keep it as a sign. Press OK. Once you press OK, you're going to get this. Now you actually could double click on it and you can actually change the modifications, go into advanced, do what you need to do. Um, upgrades categories modification security now within security you gotta make sure with security you have to add domain computers okay because if you don't add domain computers what's gonna happen is your machines on the floor would not get the GPO now when you're adding domain computers make sure that they got the read allowed permission okay once again when you add in the domain computers make sure that the read allow permission is added to it I'm basically going to cancel this out because I already have a GPO that's already set to all this already. I just wanted to show you guys how to do the GPO. Um, I created a GP GPO called paint.net. Uh, I can basically show you everything. Uh, I'm actually going to go to edit and I'm going to go to policies, software settings, software installation, and there you go. If I double click on this, go to settings, security, domain computers is in there, and I do have the read permissions. Okay, now um, I test this out inside my test, my IT test OU. Inside my IT test OU, I actually have this computer in it. So I'm gonna right click on side there, and I'm gonna link an uh, existing GPO. Press OK, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enforce it. 
so I could go down and hit it real quick. Now, I'm actually going to go to start and I'm going to show you all programs. I do not have the paint.net program installed into it. So I'm actually going to go into the run command and I'm going to do a CMD, right click and I'm going to run it as an administrator. And I'm going to do a GP update because I don't want to wait. So I'm going to try to force it. Uh, most likely it's going to go into the domain controller and read the GPLs and it's going to want me to do a reboot. Now, once you do the reboot, you're going to get a dialog box um, requesting you to close it and it's going to try to reboot in a minute as you can see window will shut down less than a minute which is awesome It's gonna reboot and hopefully if everything goes okay we should see the paint.net deployed with no problem now the other question is how would I know if the deployment went well now you gotta go into every machine or wait until a user comes to you and basically says hey um, the software such and such did not deploy for me last night and you basically emailed everyone letting us know that it's gonna happen but the person next to me got it I don't know what's going on so you can actually go to that machine go into the event viewer and um, look at the error code and see why that didn't have it most likely the machine didn't have a proper um, permissions or something's going on so it's probably more work for you you could try to do it the smarter way and the smarter way is try to uh, run a uh, a report to check all the machines on the floor to see if everything was pushed out now there's actually a utility that you could download which I'm actually gonna post this link at the bottom of the description and it's called the group policy inventory and again it's free so I'm gonna shoot this um, this link to you guys so you guys can check it out also download it it's free it's MSI and it's pretty cool so what I did is I went inside my domain controller and I installed it. Now when you install it, it's not going to automatically be inside your all programs at all, all your administrative tools. It's actually going to be located in start computer C drive and I believe in program files. No, not in program files. Program files 86, Windows resource kicks, tools, and now there goes the program. Now, so with the program, uh, it's a great program, but uh, I hardly use this. I have, I have never used this before. I did some research again and I found out about it. And there is a glitch with the program that is common with Microsoft. So I'm going to show you guys about that glitch. Uh, so let's go back to my BJ Dash test machine and let's log in. And if everything goes well, I should have the program installed into this machine. So I'm crossing my fingers that it is installed. And there you go paint.net is installed on the machine so if I go to start all programs and paint.net there you go now regardless if I have a shortcut on the desktop and the program is in all programs hey that's all great but the true test is if I double click on this program would it run now in my past I've I've come across that when you do GPOs and you are pushing out programs uh, there's always a 50-50 chance that it won't work. Um, if it does work, that's a woohoo for everyone and there's less work that IT people have to deal with and less headaches. So everything went well. Uh, for, for you guys that are wondering how to check it on the event viewer, it's pretty easy. You go to start, right click on computer and go to manage. And this is where all the magic happens. If you guys uh, don't know how to run the reports, which I'm actually going to show you guys, uh, you can actually go into the event viewer. Windows logs applications and within applications when it loads up hopefully it loads up for me again I'm running everything in a virtual machine come on there it goes most likely you guys are gonna see on the source you might see a MSI installer now if it's information that's pretty good because it's giving you a rundown uh, before when I tested it out and the not too long ago I was receiving I received a couple of errors actually I received the warning let me see if I can find it for you guys I know I received some warning today and the warning was um, I wasn't able to deploy it and the reason why I wasn't able to deploy it is because I had a firewall issue so I actually had to shut down my firewall for the GPO to hit the machine so I, that was pretty weird 
Okay, so now it's time to show you guys how to run the report worldwide rather than going to each individual machine and checking out the event viewer. So with the group policy inventory already installed on the whatever machine you want to use, uh, I installed it on the domain controller. You guys can basically install it to wherever you want. Make sure that you have administrative rights to your Active Directory. Um, you can basically go to Cori. Uh, you want to select computers to a target using Active Directory um, I, because I have all my machines on a particular IT test OU because I'm testing it on a testing environment. I'm going to press OK. I only got two machines in there, so I'm going to show you guys. Go to my domain controller, IT test. I only got two machines, and this is the only machine that's, the, that's up and running, so that's the only one that's hit with the GPO. And now... With this program, you can basically go to go. You can actually just highlight the ones that you want, right click and run, press yes, and you would think it would work, but no, it's not going to work. For some reason, uh, this program is not 100% perfect, and this is a common problem that's been happening with this program. But there is a work uh, a workaround that you could get uh, around it, around this error, and if you want to use it. Uh, so to get, the way to get use it, you go to Corey again. You want to select information to gather, and for us, we want to get information on installed apps. Okay, and and that's about it. Let's do let's do this one as, as well. Anything that deals with installed apps, press OK. And once you do that, highlight the two, and you're going to Corey or F5 for short, and run it. Now, once it runs, there you go. Again, this machine is not up and running, so that's why I got the error. Uh, this machine is up. It's Corey. Uh, this is done installed, and and it, that means it's good. That means I could I could actually run all I could run this Corey and all the machines on the floor and see what didn't get hit or um, what did get hit successfully. Uh, I probably if this machine didn't get hit I probably have to it, this probably errors out or gives me like a crazy a crazy result if it does give you a crazy result that's basically you go to the floor fix it right away but that's about it guys hopefully you guys enjoy this um, tutorial this video and please leave comment below as well at the very top right there on your right on your left hand side if you guys are viewing uh, there's a subscribe button please hit that subscribe button support uh, again, knowledge is power, and hopefully I catch you guys later. Thank you. Subscribe! Thank you.